This right here is the Allway BM1600 balcony power station. And in a world where energy costs keep rising, more and more of us are actually looking for a smart, practical way to save money. Yeah, and that's where this system comes in. Because it's much more than just a battery, this right here is actually a smart, compact energy storage system designed for your home or you can also use it for example, outdoors on your balcony, and it has amazing capabilities. With its sleek design and easy setup, the BM1600 lets you first of all tap into solar energy. On a surprisingly large scale, you can hook up up to three strings. Or what's also really cool, this device lets you tap into off-peak electricity rates, i.e. during night where virtually no one is drawing power from the grid. So you can charge it up while electricity is very, very cheap. And then of course use it when it's more expensive, you can even sell it back into the market for two, three or um, even four times the cost. So you can do this, use the solar panels or even go for a hybrid mode. In any case, that means real savings right from your balcony or wherever you place this battery. You can easily stack them as well. And it's not just about storage. The BM1600 also seamlessly integrates with all sorts of smart home ecosystems like Shelly, Tibber and EcoTracker. So you can monitor your usage and also maximize the efficiency on top. And even better, it's AI driven regulation inside the app. Make sure that your home energy use is automatic optimized so that you don't even need to think about when or how to switch. So yeah, Lucent sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. New drip. Got a new drip from Allway, the BM1600 balcony power station. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you here now. Let's check it out. Here we have the box and check this out. Really great packaging because it's a box in a box. This side up and you can actually do it like this. Let me just show you all the sides right there. And again, inside we have the actual box. Look at that little thank you right on top. And that's the actual box. So as you can see, only this on the top. Now we can also open up this one. So let's go right on top. We have the paperwork, the manual, thick padding all the way around and the device itself in here. Let's go. All sides are neatly padded. And lastly, we also have a box in here as well. Right there. Yeah, now the box is empty, so let's move on right away. Let's start right here with the manual. It's multi-language. We have German and English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. And the last page right here, great comprehensive manual. And then we also have the box with additional accessories. And in here we have the cable for the wall outlet. Really nice, long and thick, especially thick and a professional grade connector for the battery itself. Then we will get additional mounting hardware with screws and dowels right here. Also these tiny screws and also this tool right here. That's it. So the paperwork, the cable and mounting hardware and this tool. Done with the unboxing and now let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So there we have it, a great looking, very compact unit, great display, looks very clean. We also have two great carrying handles. And here on the backside, we have a substantial cooling grill. Seeing this gives me peace of mind. And best of all, it's all passive, a zero noise. All the connectors are high grade. Yeah, and with that said, let's take a close look. So here we have the front side with the brand as well as the display. Then on the left side, we have a connector for ethernet. We have the Wi-Fi antenna, great. And we can hook up solar panels right here, three strings in total and 800 watts per string. So huge input, 2400 watts peak. Then here on the back side, large cooling area as well as the sticker with all the small print right there. Awesome. The right side, and again, these carrying handles are really nice. Here we have the AC output as well as the circuit protectors. And here we can also charge it up over AC right there. And we have 10 amps max output. Here on the top, high temperature caution. Look at this cooling grill. So nice. And lastly, the bottom area right here with the connector right there, covered by this rubber ceiling really nice. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up, check out the app and then of course test it.
Of course, this battery is made for outdoor usage. It's very heavy duty. So right here on a balcony, this would be the typical use case scenario. As you can see, it does fit in here very well. It's looking great. Ideally, you would position this closer to the edge. For example, if you have the solar panels on the actual ledge, whether it's at an angle or flat, then you can hook them up right here. In my case, I could also put some on this roof right here. And just one of these batteries can facilitate an area like this easily and my balcony is pretty ideal because right here I also have power so with the cable I could also hook it up right here but I guess you get the point AC or solar power and we have a very strong antenna in here so outdoor use plus Wi-Fi easily possible thanks to this great receiver and transmitter but for the actual test I will bring it inside. It's a very versatile system that you can also use indoors or in a garage. As you can see it's looking great and it's not a you know an eyesore when you have it inside of the house. So right now I'm just going to hook it up and plug it to the grid and just like that we are ready to go. Bit of clicking it's actually powering up all on its own we can see the charge level right there we can turn it on and off right here and we also have the wi-fi right there on and also to activate the ac we have to click here and now this module is active and of course when you don't need it just turn it off this will save standby power great unit but what's even better is the app so let's check it out next So that's the app right here, that's the publisher, there is only one app so you can't go wrong so let's open it up and first of all we need to register. So let's insert the mail, send the code, paste the code, select the country and then agree and lastly set the password. So there we go, it was a success and now we can log in. We can also remember the password and agree to that right. That's our home dashboard. We have the devices tab right here. We have the discover tab right there with all the available products right here. So we have smart meters, smart plugs, and also expandable battery packs. And lastly, we have the account tab where we can manage the system, family management, give permissions and stuff like that. We have user manuals right here for all the products and also the settings. Yeah, now let's add a device. So right here, a little overview and on the plus, we can add a device. Okay, so first we need to create a system. So tech magnet house, country and city, Vienna, and this should be around 32 cents. And grid operator, wow, that's cool, Austria. And now we can create the household. We can even create more. That's the list right there. And when we click on manage system, as you can see, we now have the house available and we can invite more members. That's what it's looking like. So we have the life and data for solar smart meters standby power later on we can also select a mode right here and we also have graphs and curves for solar for home usage storage discharge and grid power purchase so a very elaborate app and now up here we also have the gear right but there's nothing available so we need to add one first so add devices give it all the permissions and it's right here that was super fast and we can add this one right away wow Incredible. Let's pick a Wi-Fi, waiting for the connection right there. Okay, syncing and just like that, everything got updated. Earnings, kilowatt hours produced. Now we can select a mode. This is where AI comes into play. So the smart mode is actually really epic for real-time synchronization and optimization. We also have settings for that. So for example, up here, check this out, really awesome. And over time, this will also fill up a detailed analysis. Then we also have a custom mode with scheduling. And of course, we can also configure this right here and set up a schedule. So for example, charge up the battery in between these times. And we can also set a feed in mode, very customizable. And down here, we can also enable the maximum feed in power. So if you allow to actually do this, you can go to a max of 1600 watts with just one battery. And talking about the battery, now we can go to the settings and check it out further. So the power usage scenario, we already know all about that. And then we also have the system settings and then we also have the MCU firmware. So that's looking good to me. Yeah, now we can actually check out the device in the devices tab. So here we have the tile with the Wi-Fi on and also the 
charge level. And we also have the charge animation and when we tap on it, we will actually enter the device. And now that's the status with the precise SOC as well as temperature. And up here, we can also check out the basic informations and also unbind the device right here. Yeah, now let's talk about the actual use cases. So right here, we have the battery available under my equipment. We can access it as before. And now we can also add more components to this ecosystem. So for example, we can add solar panels and straight up hook it up to the battery. That's a way of getting free energy into your system. And with the mode selection, for example, the AI mode right here, as you can see for this, we will need a smart meter that will actually track our consumption as well as production. But if you don't have one, you can also use a custom mode. As you saw, you can set up schedules. For example, we want to charge it from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. Because during this time, the energy is very cheap. We can dial in the power from just 10 watts all the way to 1600 watts. So if we're going to charge four hours, we can then just divide by four and set it to around 400 or maybe go to 500 just to be safe. This way we can be gentle to the battery, but also get the cheap electricity. And this is signaled by the down arrow. And we can also set a schedule for a feed in time. So for example, wait, actually, in our case, we don't have solar. So the best time for cheap electricity would be from like 11 to 1 p.m. dirt cheap electricity and let's go for a thousand watts so that we get charged up all the way for sure confirm that and then we can also select a feed in time so for example when everyone wakes up from 7 to 7 30 that's when electricity is very expensive or you can also use this on the evening when everyone gets home or is cooking something then we have the feed in settings as well as the time power so again we can configure figure all of that very well. So let's go for the max because we want to discharge as much as possible during this time window. And just like that, we can add this schedule and we can also set one in the evening, probably from right here to right here. Also a time where electricity is very expensive and also add that. So we will discharge in the morning, make money, then we will charge it up when it's very cheap through solar and then again on the evening we can discharge it once more and if we have something left this cycle will just repeat on the next day. So as you can see even without solar you can utilize this battery even make money with it but adding solar panels just makes total sense and always remember using the energy for yourself is best when it gets to efficiency bringing down your consumption makes more sense than to send it back into the grid so yeah a very capable device with a great app tons of epic functionalities so it deserves a massive thumbs up from my side So as you saw, excellent hardware as well as build quality, heavy duty, very rugged, and it looks cool as well. And all those features and capabilities for such an incredible price point, it's awesome. It's so much better than the competition, especially in this price segment. Top tier value right here. And goes to show that Allway always brings amazing value to the table with great looking devices and a top of the line ecosystem. And as you saw, this system right here is an easy, efficient, and effective way to take full control of your home energy. We've seen how it works beautifully from a balcony or house household setup, how it saves money by storing energy, whether it's from solar or from the grid. And with its built-in AI regulation, the BM1600 does the heavy lifting for you, adjusting automatically, reducing waste, and making sure that you always get the most of your stored power. So if you're looking for a smarter, cleaner, and more efficient way, as well as a more cost-effective approach to energy, then this right here could be the upgrade your home has been waiting for. Yeah, and that's of course definitely drippy. So check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing Tech Magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.